Hi everyone, it's Patty Behan, and thank you for joining me in the studio today. In this video, I'm going to show you our cotton tail embossing powder. Cotton tail embossing powder has special properties that raises and puffs when you heat it. So if you'd like to have dimension on your cards, this video is for you. So let's get started. So we're going to be making a quick and easy card using our cottontail embossing powder. And the cool thing about this powder is that when you heat the powder, it puffs up and it gives you a dimensional textured look. So I also have a stamp here and Distress Heavyweight Black Cardstock, embossing ink, and a brayer. And to begin, I'm going to ink up the stamp pad. And I'm gonna make sure that I get a nice amount of ink on the stamp. And I'm making sure that I'm inking it bigger than the cardstock. Okay, and once I do that, I'm going to place the card down where I want it and then I'm going to put a piece of paper over top and trying not to move the piece underneath and I'm going to roll the brayer over top just so that I get a good amount of ink all throughout this background here and I'm making sure I go over the edge and I get the sides so I don't miss a spot. Okay, and I think I got it good. I'll remove the paper and then lift it up. I'm gonna get this out of the way. And then I'm going to pour the powder over top. And you can use this to make puffy clouds, snowflakes, fur on animals. There's so many fun things you could do with this. And we'll show you some more examples later. So I remove the excess. And then I'll put this back in the jar. It's a great thing about embossing powder. You can use it and reuse it and it lasts a good long time. All right, and now I'm going to heat this up to melt and you'll see it puff. And when I'm embossing, I'm going to hold my heat gun in one spot. And then once I see it melt, I'm going to move it along in an even fashion. Now we're going to let this cool a second and I'm going to try to turn it sideways so that you can see how it puffs up and you get that extra texture to it. It's just a real cool effect. Okay, now that that's dry, we can put this card together. I have a top folding card here. And I'm going to glue this down in the center. And I think that I want this on the top. 
and then I'll just make sure it's centered well. And then I already embossed this sentiment and I used some green embossing powder and red tinsel for the star. And I've put some clear foam tape on that and then we'll just place it in the center and there you have it you don't get a card that's much easier than that this would be great to make a bunch of cards for, to give to your friends for Christmas okay so let me show you some other ideas we have for you and for our first one, as I mentioned before, we put um, fur on these geese right here. That's a really cute card. And this one, we put the fern leaf with the cotton tail and then inked over the top and we got this really nice textured effect. Here are some snowflakes. Get that out of the way. And this one has a really pretty background. It was stenciled. And then the flowers were stamped on top to get these raised images. It's very subtle and it's so pretty. Here, this was used in the background with a brick stamp and then inked over top. Another one, we have some snowflakes and then a textured background stamp on the bottom for the snow. And this card is so cute. We put the cotton tail in the little heads of the doggies here. It's really cute. So as you can see, there are a lot of fun ideas that you can do with the cotton tail embossing powder. It's not just for snow or snowflakes. There's many things you can do with it. So I hope this inspires you to give this a try. And for more videos on our embossing powders, keep watching this series. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.